This video is sponsored by Trailer Training UK. Good morning everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching. We oh, are just leaving uh, the place where I get loaded from. We've got bolt bags on and we are on our way to a place called Rington. Um, and we're operating out of Bristol today. So uh, Rington is about 40 minutes away. ETA there is about 11 o'clock in the morning. Ugh. Quite a bumpy road. We've already done one delivery this morning to Longwell Green. Uh, we've got to do this one to Rington. And then, later on this afternoon, uh, I've got to go to Yate. Uh, and then, I, I believe, go back to the yard from there. Unless i got to operate out of South Sony tomorrow, in which case I'll have to go and preload for the morning. But uh, we'll see. Time is actually getting on. This morning I got to Longwell Green at... Um, what time did I get there? got there about half past seven. I didn't leave until nine o'clock. Right, I've normally always gone right out of here, but it's actually telling me to go left. There is a car coming. There's nothing down here to say that I can't go left, and I have seen eight wheelers go left. So let's risk it. There's always a first for everything, isn't there? We're going left, not right. Hopefully we can uh, get out of here. I've uh, been I've been doing Bristol work now for well, it's been on and off really for a couple of weeks. Not been down here every day. Been down here two or three days. I think this is the third or fourth day, something like that. So um, yeah, there's an eight-wheeler. Look, not leaving me a lot of room. That's loose. Yeah. So um, yeah, we're operating out of Bristol don't normally operate down Bristol so I don't really know the area very well you know like at South Cerny or Southampton you could say they could tell me where I was going and I, I, I would know straight away where that is whereas like simple places like Longwell Green even though I've heard of them don't actually know whereabouts it is in Bristol so um, <laughs> yeah it's new it's new right we've got a score down here that would be what all these speed bumps are for and this road's called Station Road. In my experience, a lot of station roads are quite, um, sort of, not fast flowing roads, and they're not single track roads, but they're sort of roads with police stations and stuff like that. Right, come on then, let me out. Like, it would have been quicker if you just went, never mind. Thank you very much. Right, we're gonna go left here. All clear, let's go. Excellent. Yeah, so this is the first video I've made since getting over 20,000 subscribers. So um, thank you very much to everybody who has subscribed to me. We wanna be going right here. I am not 100% sure if I should be going this way or not, but I am. Clear. Not quite clear. I don't think I should have come down this way. I'm not 100% sure. But this is a one way system, so it's not too bad. Ah, ah right, yeah, it's a one way system, so that's okay. <laughs> I was hoping that I wasn't going to come across oncoming vehicles then that way because that would have been a bit of a nightmare. So that, as I come back, I'll be going down there. That's fine. Whew. You know, like, <laughs> I don't know, you go down road sometimes and you sort of think to yourself, oh, crap, have I made the right move here? That's basically what just happened. 
I was, like I said, when, you, when I first started recording, I wasn't anticipating to go left. I thought I was going to be going right, but never mind. Yeah, so 20,000 subscribers, so thank you very much to everybody who has subscribed to me. We really do appreciate it. Next step, I guess, is 25,000. And uh, hopefully we'll be there pretty soon. So a couple of events coming up soon for me. Um, the end of this month, we've got Truck Fest in Malvern. It's not 100% confirmed that I'm going, but it is 99% confirmed I'm going. The tickets aren't booked, but we, I think we're going. <laughs> and when I say we, I think it's just me and the boss's truck. The boss isn't going, he's on holiday. Someone else is taking his truck and I'll be taking, I think this truck, this plain white one because it's my truck, so I'd rather take my truck. So yeah, we um, if we do go, it'd just be two trucks there, but it'd still be nice to uh, to meet you guys. I will of course confirm close to the day whether I am actually going or not, but I am 99% sure I'm going. Um, girlfriend's booked the day off and everything. Children are booked out of school, ready to go. Interesting fact, my, my eldest, right, she's five years old, she's in year reception. Um, she can take days off of school because the school she's at don't count the reception as like a, a main year of school. But next year, obviously, you, you got to only take her out of term time. But uh, because I'm going to Truck Fest and it's work related, it's a family it's a family work related event, and I'm going. Um, that she's allowed out of school. Get really close to these bushes on the left here. Yeah, so she's, even next year, apparently, she's allowed out of school outside of half term because it's a family work thing. It's a work thing, I don't yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. So yeah, interesting fact. I'm not too keen on these roads. I was actually going to say where we're going in Rington, we've got to go down some tight roads down there as well. There's some bushes sticking out in the corners. I think it's called Haven Road or something like that. But there is, a, there is a road sign, a brown sign saying in Justin State with a picture of a lorry. So it is the way in, but looking at Google Maps, it looks like a, almost like a single track. So that'd be fun. But uh, yeah, we're 34 minutes away now. So we're gonna crack on. And uh, I'll see you when we get a little bit closer. How about that? So I'll see you in a bit. Right, we're nearly there now. We're just gonna go around the corner and then down some tight lanes. Uh, one of the reasons why I wanted to go earlier was because uh, I just wanted to concentrate really, just wanted to concentrate going down some of those tight roads. But as soon as I come off the camera, there was one more tight turn to do. I had to go under a little bridge thing and then it opened up. So um, yeah, it was actually okay. <laughs> um, I got both sat nav on and my phone on. My phone told me to go right down there. And there's also a sign saying unsuitable for HCVs. So <laughs> I won't be going that way. But we will be taking a right-hand turn up in 700 yards. Now, as I mentioned earlier, when I looked up on Google Maps, um, there was a brown sign saying industrial area. See here, look, there's two, two solid white lines. And if I'm not mistaken, that means no overtaking. And those, all those cars are overtaking the cyclist. I'm so heavy that I can't even celebrate. My foot's been down for ages. And now there's a dash in the line. It means uh, I can overtake, I believe. I hope so, anyway. We're turning right over here, so we're gonna stay on these hatchings. Because we are turning right. Yeah, so there's a brown sign there that says industrial estate. Go. flashed him to go and he could have gone if he was paying attention. Rington, including industrial estates or trading estates. Come on. Now I've just got to wait for this road to clear so I can go. And I'm also hoping that no one else comes down to the right. Oh man, this road's busy. I'm gonna have to try and be a bit pushy here. Mm. 
We got there. We got there. Right, so as you can see, this road is not really great. We've got to go down this road for about a mile. But if any other truck comes the other way, not good. This bit's okay. There's a couple of um, sort of bendy turns coming up in a second. And that's what worried me a little bit when I looked at Google Maps. Okay, there's a car there. <clears throat> it's when you drive down these sort of roads it's when your anxiety starts to build up a lot of truckers suffer from anxiety and it's not like a nice feeling to have anxiety I get it but I, I enjoy the feeling after do you know what I mean like once I get through all this providing I get through successfully I haven't hit anything or only one, then the sense of relief I get is, is really nice. That sign says trading estates with a picture of a lorry. So lorries are supposed to come down here. Like I said, looking at the maps, <laughs> you kind of think, really? Now there's a weak bridge on the right, three ton. I weigh 44 so we will not be going down there right this turn coming up now is the, the one that looked the worst it's a right hand turn coming up they look like there's plenty of room because I can go on the opposite side of the road it's like a almost like a like a crossroad sort of thing it looks like I can go straight up here pretty much and get a wide turn in yeah, it's all clear. By the way, if the dash cam footage turns off all of a sudden, it's because the place I'm delivering to is in shot and I don't want to get it on camera. But if you do get a glimpse of the bags that are on the back, no, you need to come on, mate. Or my trailer will let you when I go past here. If you do get a shot of the bags on the back, then they're technically my property at the moment because they're on my bed, they're my responsibility at least. Oh, this is not what I wanted, to meet a truck. That may or may not be the place I'm delivering to. Hello. Yeah, you're right. It's a little bit tight. We're good, we are good. Right, camera is now coming off because we're here now. So um, I am gonna have to go. So thank you very much and I'll, uh, I will see you when we leave this place. Right, we're off. Uh, we <laughs> We've just damaged the truck a little bit. Coming out of the yard, I can only explain, it's like a, a steep incline going up and then you've got to turn right. And it's very tight as well. So as you're sort of turning right, the trailer um, sort of catches on your wheel guards. And I've just, I haven't broken it, I don't think. I think it can be bent back. I'm hoping anyway. But uh, it is not 100% anymore. So, bit of a shame. I've texted the boss to let him know. You need to come around a lot slower, mate. I'll take a wide turn to get round. Doesn't understand. That's okay. Yeah, so um, I'm hoping it can be bent back into the right position. We'll see. But anyway, I wanted to be in. Uh, I wanted to leave here by 12 o'clock. So I can get back by one o'clock. It's now 10 past 12 and the ETA is 10 to 1 so we're not doing too bad. Um, obviously if we did leave 10 minutes earlier then I would have be at where we're going 10 minutes earlier. Oh god, I can't see anything coming around here. I'm 
I'm glad I met that lorry on the way in. Where I did, you wouldn't want to be meeting it here. We've only got 700 more yards to go and then we're out of this bit. This is the worst. Looks like we're all clear. Anyway, so uh, while the forklifter was unloading me, he noticed my high vis and he said, what does that say on the back? And I said, oh, Luke's seen HGV. He goes, oh, my name's Luke. I said, like, oh, well, nice to meet you, Luke. I'm Luke as well. <laughs> and then um, he was asking about my channel, so I told him all about it and he said he was going to check it out. So if you are listening or watching Mr. Forklifter from uh, Unnamed Builders Merchants in, uh, where have I just been? I can't remember where I've been, but you know, you know this road. Uh, hello. So you've got a nice... Nice long beard, so hello to you. By the way, let's crack on back to the yard. Actually, no, we're not going back to the yard, sorry. We're going back to get loaded. We've got to do a third and final run to Yate. Uh, and then, uh, I don't know what we're doing from there. I don't know which branch we're operating out of, be it Bristol, South Cerny, or Southampton. And depending, a bit tight, Depending on which branch I'm operating out of, depends on what exactly I'm doing. If, I got, if I'm operating out of Southampton, I might go straight down to Southampton. If I'm operating out of South Cerny, then I might just go straight back to the yard. If I'm operating out of Bristol, then I need to go get fuel first. Things like that. It's, depending on what I'm doing tomorrow, it depends on what I do in the next sort of few hours' time. So we'll have to wait and see. Anyway, let's go get loaded and let's crack on to Yate. This video is sponsored by Trailer Training UK, operating across the south delivering HGV class 1 and 2 courses as well as weekly CPC courses. They also do car and trailer courses and many more. I have heard nothing but good things about these guys, check out their online presence, they got a 91.7% first time pass rate and if you quote Luke see you get a 5% discount on top of the 5% price fee they already have. Therefore, you're 100% guaranteed the best price. Find out more by clicking the link in the description below. Right, we're now loaded. And we're off to Yates. We will be turning right this time, and it is a very tight right. We made it. Yeah, so um, we're off to Yate now. Something interesting happened on the way here to get in loaded. Uh, I had to go over a roundabout, and it's one of those roundabouts where you've got to take up both lanes. So I took up both lanes on the approach, and there's a bit of traffic, so I was sat stationary for about a minute, waiting for the cars ahead to go, before I attempted to get up to the giveaway line. Clear on the right, clear on the left, kept checking all the time, and then all of a sudden, a car comes down on the inside, and I'm, and I'm like, well, what are you doing that for? I can't see her. So she went all the way along and she got right down in the front in the blind spot. I knew she was there because I, w I saw her come because I was checking my mirrors. But if I wasn't paying attention and I just moved, I definitely would have hit her. So I, I didn't beat my own long. I just went beep beep, do you know what I mean? Like that. As if to say, what are you doing? I'm here. And she had her window down and I can only describe her as a chav. And she was like, whoa, well, what am I supposed to bloody know? You, you want to take up both lanes. What are you taking up both lanes for? Things like that looking at me, giving me like, all the hand gestures and things, right? I'm <laughs> just there like, I'm a lorry, I need to take up two lanes. It's a tight roundabout. And if you can't understand the fact that I need to take up two lanes, then you shouldn't be taking it. You shouldn't have your driving license. Sorry, but it's just things like that makes you think, as a car driver, before I got my HGV test, you don't know how much room HGV drivers need. No one likes being stuck behind an HGV driver. I understand that. Even when I'm driving my car, I don't want to be stuck behind a truck. Same as horse boxes and cyclists. You don't want to be stuck behind a slow moving vehicle. I 100% understand that. But I do honestly believe that when you take your car test, you need to maybe learn a little bit more about how much room large vehicles need. Because if I didn't see that she come down the inside of me, I would have wrote her car off 100%. I would have driven into her and probably dented the quarterback panelling quite quite nasty. And that's not a euphemism for, for doing her back end in before anyone says anything. But yeah, she, I just it wasn't an aggressive beep, it was just like a beep beep sort of what are you doing? I, I need to use that space. And uh, yeah, just shouted out the window why are you using up two lanes? 
some people just don't understand. Never mind, ran over. We're on our way to Yates. Uh, it's currently five to two in the afternoon and we should be there for 20 past two. It's not far away. So I'm hoping we can get there and get offloaded before half past three. That'd be nice. And then we can make our way back to the yard. I still don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. So um, I don't know what I'm doing this afternoon with regards to preloading or not. And again, if I do get preloaded, say I'm working out of South Sydney and I gotta get preloaded, it kind of depends on where I'm going in the morning as to what I do now. Because if I'm going somewhere north, i.e. M5, then I'm not going past where we get fuel. Whereas if I'm going south past Swindon, then I can get fuel in the morning. So I need to know what I'm doing, as well as where I'm operating out of, so I can plan things. It's, it's really, really complicated. So we're only a couple of miles now from where we need to be in Yates. Just gone past a couple of places where the roads were closed. So luckily, uh, our roads that we needed to take were not affected, so that's good. Remember when I was working on the tarmac, on the eight wheeler tippers and you'd love to see road close signs because nine out of 10 times that'd be where you were delivering to. But now you see a road close sign on a road that you want to take, you're like, no. <laughs> so yeah, a little, little bit annoying sometimes, but nothing major. It's 30 miles an hour speed limit coming up according to the sat nav. Yeah, we've got 30 miles an hour signs there look, as well. That's good. Good job, we're only doing 25. Not bad. Not bad at all. So, if I do get back to the yard quite early today, I'm gonna have to clean the truck, I think, because it is looking a little bit dirty. So I definitely want to uh, give it a clean if I do get back to the yard a little bit too, uh, earlier than I hope. I'm hoping to be there by five. So if I'm sort of there between four and half four, then I'll definitely give it a clean. If not, I'll probably just leave it and do it in the morning because I want to go home and edit this video for you guys. Right, so we are going to the trade and estate, so we want to go left. Excellente. Go left down here. Bus is closing in. Cheers, bus. And then I believe it's another left. Oh no, maybe not. I am wrong. I do get things wrong, you know, every now and then. Actually, I quite often get things wrong. I'm hardly ever right. <laughs> Want to go down to the roundabout. I believe there is a left after the roundabout. Same C, we're same C, we're same C. But these roads are okay, it's nothing like the roads I had to drive down earlier, are they? These roads are quite tight and narrow earlier in the vlog. Nothing wrong with these roads, these roads are perfectly adequate. If you want to go straight over. Over. What's that car doing? Say straight over, but it was more of a sort of rightish sort of turn. Here we go, it's down here, then we need to turn left. So, time now is 16 minutes past four, so let's just say time I park up and speak to him, it's 20 past four. I'm hoping to be out by 20 past three. So let's say half three. Let's try and be out by half three. Right, you join me just leaving the place we've just delivered to. Ah, oh, it's bloody hot out there as well. Woo! So it is five past three. I was hoping to get out of here by half past three, so fantastic, that's good. Uh, the thing is, when I last left you, I thought I was around the corner from where I needed to deliver, but I wasn't. I was nowhere near. Because uh, I don't know the best way of wording it, but basically I had to go to some place called like North Street or something. And it was a very, very long street. And I 
basically went up the wrong way. Not the wrong way, I went the right way up, but the wrong side. And I couldn't cut down because there was a low bridge. So in the end I had to do a three mile circle. Um, so yeah, so we, we didn't end up getting there for 20 past three. We ended up getting there for half past three. So we were 10 minutes later, uh, but we were just leaving now. Not even five past three yet, it's four minutes past three. So pretty much we're in there for just half an hour. So that's fantastic. Good stuff. So yeah, we're on our way back now to, well, towards Swindon. I don't actually know yet what we're doing. I need to make a phone call. Uh, but uh, when I do know, I'll uh, be back and I'll let you know what's happening. Not that you really probably bothered, but never mind. But, uh, but yeah, we're on our way. All runs are now done. Let's go find out what we're actually doing tomorrow. Right, you join me on junction 17 of the M4. Interesting fact, crashed a car here once. This roundabout never used to have traffic lights. You had to give way to your right. And uh, I was come off the slip road and um, the car in front decided he was gonna stop for no reason to give way to a car that was not there. So I'm there looking right at the roundabout, seeing it's completely clear, anticipating the car in front to go on ahead. He hasn't, and then I rammed him at the bottom. <laughs> to make things worse, it was my girlfriend's car and I was driving uninsured. Do not drive uninsured. I got six points on my license and a 250 pound fine. But that was when I first got on my girlfriend. We've been together like eight years now, so, so that was a good sort of at least seven years ago. It's actually an interesting story that I've never told people. So I passed my test when I was 17. Yeah, when I was 17. And almost immediately I got done for speeding. I got three points on my license. Uh, and then about a, a year later, I started working for a company um, who dealt with uh, erecting signage around sites. They were called Eco Signs in Swindon. Um, I started working for them and I was driving a van <laughs> and rather interestingly, I was doing 70 miles an hour on, was it 70 or 60? I can't remember what I was doing exactly. I think it might have been 60 miles an hour on a dual carriageway, um, which is fine for a car, but they considered the van a large vehicle. And so I was going 10 miles an hour over the speed limit because the speed limit is 10 miles an hour less. So they gave, they sat three points of my license for that as well. So I've had my license for two years, just over two years, and I have six points on my license. So if you get six points on your license, before two years, I think, then you lost your license. But I had six points on just after my two years. So that was close, nearly lost my license then. And then I got my six points on my license for driving and short. I remember sitting in the police car, like I said, this was quite a long time ago, about seven years ago now. And he asked me if I got any points on my license. And I said, yes, officer, I believe I have six points on my license. And he goes, well, in that case, you, you're gonna lose your license then, because that'll be 12 points and that's it, you're gone lose your license so he'd done his checks and he said um do you want the good news or the bad news i was like whatever he goes the bad news is you've got six points in your license um the good news is you've not lost your license and i was like why is that then and that's because the first three points i got for speeding was taken off the week before so that's two times in a row that i nearly lost my license and didn't actually lose it so um very very lucky indeed uh and i'm <laughs> very pleased to say that since then I've had no points on my license. I've been clean for seven years. <laughs> so yeah, I was. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I was a, a, a dickhead when I was young. I was a complete dickhead driver. I drove fast. I drove reckless. Um, I was a, a boy racer. I had like neons underneath my car and stra light, strobe lights on the inside, UV lights, big massive base systems. I had a Vauxhall Corsa 1.2, that's how sad it is. The stuff I had inside the car was worth more than the car. I had tinted windows, I had low profile alloys. Um, yeah. <laughs> it looks like a pile of crap <laughs> when I think about it. But yeah, that's, that's what I was like when I was younger. <coughs> so I'm 27 now, so I've had my license for, well, I'm nearly 28. I've had my license for nearly 11 years. And all that was like seven years ago, eight years ago, something like that. Yes, no points on my license now. Zero on my license and zero since I was driving uninsured. Definitely don't drive uninsured, kids. Very naughty of me, that was. It is big enough for two trucks, I swear. The reason for driving uninsured was we had come back from holiday. I don't want to get into the details too much. My girlfriend was not happy. 
um, health-wise, let's just say. And um, yeah, yeah, I was going to say it, but no, I can't say it. She, she, she was not very well health-wise or emotionally health-wise. So we went on holiday to try and cheer her up. Um, nothing fixed. Well, I guess it was physical. Anyway, long story short, we come back. I drove the car back because she was tired, and uh, yeah, hit the car in front. My fault. I, I obviously should have stopped. I hit him, but I think he should not have stopped on a roundabout when there was nothing coming from the right. And anyway, though that that exact roundabout now has got traffic lights, so um, you don't need to give way to the right. But you probably noticed I still looked to the right because. Ever since that crash, um, yeah, I've always been dubious of that roundabout, even though it was so long ago. Anyway, so what we're doing now is we're heading back to the South Cerny plant. We're going to be there for about quarter past four. We need to get preloaded to go to Hungerford first thing in the morning. And then from Hungerford, we are going down to Southampton, where we're going to be doing a couple of runs down Southampton. I don't know if I'm staying down there or not. Last time I did this and went down Southampton in the day, I ended up staying down there for the night. Even though I was due back in South Sydney the next day, that's because I couldn't get my delivery made, so I had to stay with the delivery overnight, deliver in the morning, and then come back up. But um, ideally, I got my delivery done and then come up and then come home. But we'll have to see. We'll have to see on that one. I'm planning, I'm not going to edit this video tonight because by the time I get home, it's going to be nearly six o'clock and I've got to be up tomorrow about five or so. I want to spend a bit of time with the family like before I go back to work again and considering I could be at work for the whole rest of the week I mean but I am planning on taking a laptop with me my girlfriend don't know that yet even though I spent over two grand on a PC <laughs> I'll still be taking the laptop to work she can use the PC so yeah thank you very much for watching this video uh, hopefully you enjoyed it let me know if there's any uh, hints or tips you want to give me or anything you, anything you want to see don't forget we've got truck fest coming up soon I'm 99% sure we are going so there will be a vlog or two I plan on doing a couple of little videos around that actually um, and if I do meet a few of you then I plan on like doing something with you guys like maybe taking a photograph or something and add it on to the end of the video and, like special thanks or credits to everyone who's come and met me so but I'll, I'll find out more on that date and then of course we've got Silverstone as well and I'll probably do like a, a highlight reel of the weekend I don't do too much vlogging because my girlfriend and kids will be there but um, I'd get some shots of the cars, people I might see or meet. We'll see. We will see. But yeah, for now, thanks very much for watching. Until next time, drive safe. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.